What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boost Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you all are having a great day. It is just literally raw outside. It's like 47 degrees, and it is pouring down rain. And, you know, I'm just like <laughs> running out to the truck and stuff, you know, getting wet and things, and it's just like, oh, it's so nasty out. But then I started thinking about Brian Green, a.k.a. Game Time. And Game Time is a mailman who has a walking route, walks like 10 miles a day, delivering mail to you mother hunters. He's not the only one. There's thousands of them across the country getting your, your meds, getting your, well, nobody gets magazines anymore, but getting your meds to you, getting your social security checks, getting all that shit that Amazon don't deliver and that FedEx and UPS, they drop it off the post office to get them to deliver to you guys. And that junk man, they're out in this shit all day long, walking and making sure your pampered ass is taken care of. I hope y'all took care of your mailman for Christmas. I hope, I hope you left a little something in the mailbox for him because that is a thankless job. I don't know how he doesn't like get sick and keep the flu and everything else, because it's cold, it is raw. It's with 60 mile an hour wind gust, okay? Shout out to the mailmen and male women in the world. And so, we got the Green Bay Packers on Sunday. Now, the Dallas Cowboys in there, you know, I know people think that the Cowboys have never won a playoff game before, but believe it or not, there's only two teams that have a winning record against the Cowboys in the playoffs. And that would be the San Francisco 49ers and the um, Green Bay Packers. And I'm hoping that we'll work on getting that turned around. But see, it's funny because the Cowboys have this label of, you know, you know, a great regular season team, but can't win the big ones. You know, playoffs are Joe. We've heard Joy Taylor say, I'm not worried about the Cowboys or, you know, Dak Prescott regular season. They can't impress me. They have to do something in the playoffs. In fact, Micah Parsons put it out there that, you know, regular season is cute and all that, but this is where legacies are built, which is the truth. Now, we talked to Micah's dad at the tailgate. Shout out to Micah Parsons. Papa, Papa Lion. And the thing I've learned from him and talked to him a couple times is what he says he's going to do, he's going to do. So when he says, I'm going to be, I want to be not just in the Hall of Fame, I want to be the greatest. When he says, I want to win the Super Bowl, he's like, don't bet against that guy. Don't bet against him. Right now, him and Reggie White are the only two guys to start the seasons out with like 13 or more sacks to start the seasons. I mean, to start their career. That's it. That's the list. He is only one of five players to have 100 pressures in a season. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I, think, I think I've got the Philly choking flu. <coughs> Sorry. Um... When he says he's going to do something, don't bet against him. And I wouldn't bet against him. Now, you know, I am a student of history, okay? And that's one of the reasons why I love the Red Brick House. You know, literally going through this house and understanding that when this house was built, Texas was still part of Mexico. There's only 23 states in the Union. And learning all of these things, you know, because I'm learning things that they did back before that may have been low tech, but are still relevant today. And this is where we are with the Cowboys. Because like I said, there's only two teams that the Cowboys have losing records against in the playoffs, and that's San Francisco and Green Bay. And everybody else, the Cowboys have won more games than they've lost. But this whole concept of we can't win the big one. See, if you're a student of history, this is what pissed me off about a lot of Cowboy fans. When I was at Drew Pearson's Hall of Fame postpartum, and it was literally like the Cowboys royalty, you know, from Drew Pearson getting roasted by Tony Dorsett, Bob Lilly, and Roger Staubach, you know, seeing Charles there, Michael Irvin. It was just like the who's who of Cowboy fans. And you Nandy Pandy young ass punk mother humpers are the first ones to say, we got five rings. Don't know anything about those five rings and the people that made them. 
you don't know anything about them. So if you don't know anything about the, the history, don't tell we got, because you ain't got shit. I have seen all of their, yes, I have, all of their Super Bowls. I have seen them. And see, here's what you have to understand is the Cowboys had a lot of success after they became a franchise. Not the first year. The first year was terrible. But they were part of the ice bowl where the Green Bay Packers, the history of it, believe it or not, was they had started trying to do this thing of heating the field so that way it wouldn't be frozen. The problem was is they put tarps over top of it and the heat condensated and it froze on top of it. And as the temperature dropped more and more in the second half, it became icy. Now the Green Bay Packers have a home field advantage. They had one of the, I guess, equipment men go to the local uh, shoe store and they got tennis shoes for their players. Because the problem was is the cleats, you, you, the cleats, you only have the point of the cleat that's touching the, the ground. And it's touching ice, so it's not digging in. They got tennis shoes, so now you got the whole shoe that's actually holding on to more surface. They had a little bit better grip. And the Cowboys lost that on a quarterback sneak at the end of the game. It was close. Heartbreak. But not only did they lose that one, they lost the next year. And this was Super Bowl I and Super Bowl II. Had the Dallas Cowboys won those two games, it might not be called the Lombardi Trophy. It might have been called the Landry Trophy. And so the Cowboys having the success in the regular season but never getting to the championship game, they finally do against the Colts, That not the Indianapolis Colts. They were the Baltimore Colts. So a lot of you don't know that the, the Colts started out in Baltimore, yeah, with Johnny United. And again, the Dallas Cowboys, yeah, great regular season team, can't win the big one. Because they lost to the Colts. And so it was that the Dallas Cowboys narrative was born. They couldn't win the big one until they did against the Miami Dolphins. And they won again against the Denver Broncos during the 70s. They lost two to the Steelers. But then the 80s came around. You had the upstart San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco came up with a new offense. More pass happy. The West Coast offense. And the Cowboys still really good team they get to the nfc championship game not once not twice but three consecutive years and danny white can't get him over the hump. and again it got back to oh dallas cowboys great regular season team can't win the big one and the team continue as you know when teams are really good their window kind of closes and they got to start the process of rebuilding Tom Landry, his concepts and him being the offensive and defensive coordinator of things were passed by by younger upstarts, you know, the Bill Walsh's and things, and the Bill Parcells. They changed the game. He was still the dinosaur. Great innovator back in the 70s and the things that they did by using analytics and using computers to figure out what players were going to be great players or players they should draft. And then it came the 90s, where we were that team, couldn't win the big ones, and we did again. 90s went through, Jerry Jones screwed it up. Him and Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy knowing that he doesn't like to stay anywhere over five years, and Jerry Jones helping to push him out the way. Ended up basically putting us on the road to purgatory. And Jason Garrett, being that one that turned it to do, we can't win the big one. We've been that team, 8-8, eight 8-8, eight, 8-8. Eight and, eight, eight and, eight. and we've been that team that's been to the playoffs more recently than we had before. Because really, you know, in 2000, 2010, we went, what, two times, maybe three times that decade? Um, this decade, we went once, Oh, excuse me, the decade before. Jeez, I'm losing my decades. Between 2010 and 20, we went once with Tony Romo and I think three times with Dak. You know, this will be the second time this decade 
where you got three playoff wins. Three playoff wins. No, I'm sorry, four playoff wins. Romo's had two, Dax had two. In the 2000s. It's, of course, we're known as the great regular season team, but we can't win the big one. Well, maybe, just maybe, now is the time. Maybe now is the time that we finally, for the third time, start to turn it around and start winning the big ones. So all those out there that are sitting there saying, Cowboys can't do it. I'm not one of those people. I believe in them. And I, for one, am looking forward to the playoffs. Very right, good people. We've got to take care of some business. I started using my thickness sander. Um, I bought it over the summer, you know, working on stuff for the Red Brick House. And I bought the extra in-feed and out-feed tables for it, kit. And I never put it on. Now, I'm trying to work on doing the mantle for the uh, Red Brick House, and it's like six feet long. It's like, I ought to put, put on the outfeed tables to this thing, so that way it'll stay nice and flat. And I realized that they have two kits. They have a closed cabinet, which I have, then they have an open base. They gave me the one for the open base in the summertime. And so I called him this morning. I said, you know, remember when you sold me that thickness sander? You know, and such and such. You're like, not really. I said, well, here's the thing. I found out the table you gave me is the wrong table. And there's two types. The guy's like, what do you mean there's two types? And I said, trust me. This one says, on the instructions, open base. And I said, I have the cabinet base. And he's like, I didn't know they had two. He's like, I didn't know either. Y'all gave me the wrong ones. They said, okay, well, that's our mistake, so we'll exchange it. Like, I ain't got the box for it because I had taken out the box because I was going to put it on and just never did. So there you go. I'm not that bright. But here's what I'll tell you. Here's what I will tell you. You may not be the brightest one. I'm certainly not. But I tell you one thing. Hard work can make up for it. And I will work anybody into the ground. I'm going to lie to you. I don't quit. Ever. Ever. At least not until I start taking that dirt now. Peace.